see you all. And it is nice to be seen. Indeed, and nice to be seen with Damien here too from Series 7. Hey, Damien. Good evening, thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome, very welcome. A favourite of ours from Series 7. Uh, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Quarter finalists, I think we can call yeah. you, can't we? I think you can. <laughs> um, a, you were great um, last season, and uh, I think between uh, all of us, episode two, I think you probably captured um, uh, us with 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 your style and uh, and the way you sew. Did you have a good season, regardless? Oh, yeah, I really enjoyed the the whole experience. Really, you know, even for, you know from start to finish. Again, I thought I was going home in the first week, um, <laughs> you know, but. I was very fortunate that I sort of managed to sort of carry on uh, the way I did. But and again, it's like, you know, not knowing um, like the challenges before you get them, you know, and it's like um, it's all this anticipation on like, what's coming up. Like, will I do well in it? You know, uh, and yeah. initially I was sort of hoping to get to like week five. You know wow. what I mean? Uh, but then it's like once I got past there, it's like brilliant. Happy days. Yeah, well, you did brilliantly. You did absolutely brilliantly. Yeah. And you had some. Some cracking makes there, and um, I mean, I've got some that I remember talking to uh, Ting and Anya about. Um, so we'll go uh, week two. You 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 stood out with that wonderful. Was it the summer dress with the big palms and the fronds? Yes. And did did you do the buttons? I can't remember what was so special about the buttons. Yeah, well, yeah. I, well, I, I have, used to have to... a million. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, I think you said just the button, if I remember right. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I used I used to make guitar picks um, years ago, and uh, when we got the brief, it said, you know, do, you're going to do a button down dress. Uh, so I thought, I know, I'll make them into but into uh, into buttons. Oh. So I thought it's a perfect. It's combining my hobby of guitar yeah. with my hobby of sewing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I thought I'll make some extra ones and then uh, get them on the dress, and then from the coconut um, shell itself, that's when I went with like sort of the palm leaf type. That's print. it. You know what I mean? And yeah. I think what I think it was that, that week or the next week where I know me and Anya thought, yeah, we like you because I think your your the way you approached patterns suddenly <laughs> came across with oh, the like pattern gate again. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was con controversial a wee bit wasn't it <laughs> with 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 you sort of going off piece that i remember tig said you're being marked on the pattern challenge you should be marked on following the pattern you can't go off it and i think you just innocently went well i think i've done this before and i've done it a quicker way or something like that was that not yeah well yeah that was uh, certain techniques that i had like again i think it was a uh, week eight when we did the um Oh, which one was it now? The dirty dancing dress. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's like it had um it had a, a lap zip on it, right? Anyway, so that's what it was supposed to be, a lap zip. <laughs> anyway, so I went and got the zip and I thought, I'll just put it in as an invisible one. Anyway, so I got the zip, got it back, tried to iron the teeth open, and I couldn't because it wasn't an invisible zip. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I thought, oh god, well, I'm just gonna put it in the way I the way I know I can put it in. Yeah. Um, so then I got it in, and it's like, you know, it got, it got the, it got on the dress. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I remember me and Anya going, "Well, put a zip in." That's right. But T was like, "You didn't do it the proper way." Or what was asked? Yeah. About. <laughs> so you, you had us already raving for you. Yes, yeah, someone who's, who's, you know, can, can adapt. Then we yeah. got to um, week five, Children's Week, yes. and I think you, you. You got everyone's inspiration with that shower curtain that you turned yeah. into a, a raincoat for the kids, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, again, it's like with that one, it's um, it's just sort of thinking. As soon as I heard shower, um, it's got to be shower proof. Automatically, I went shower curtain. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I actually got a shower curtain to saw with just to <laughs> practice. And halfway through it, halfway through doing it, I was nearly in tears because I thought this is horrible to saw. Yeah. And what you know what I mean? I was committed in my mind. I thought I've got to do it. Um, anyway, so I just kept persisting with it, trying different techniques on the machine, changing all the settings and stuff like that, and just sort of trying to get a rough idea that when I went and did it, like, um, officially, that yeah. um, I'd have a, a good idea of how it was to, uh, you know, work on the machine. But at the same time, because you've got, like, a solid fabric, like the plastic shower curtain, and then underneath there was, like, a, a slippy fabric, 
as soon as we were on the machine, like the feed dogs were dragging one and it's oh, like, no. you know what I mean? It was, and then by the time I got to the end of it, it was like about two inches out at the bottom. <laughs> So I, just, oh, no. I just chopped it off all the way around. Uh, <laughs> well, I suppose that's the good thing with the shower curtain is it doesn't fray. Yes, yes. that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, there was there was a great thing for uh, week seven, um, which is is the um, uh, I think you had to do the flannel shirt, and um, was that when you said to Patrick, um, "Oh, I've slightly deviated off," <laughs> and and he went slightly deviated, and you went well, like ninety five percent slightly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I always slightly deviated. You know, it's uh, yeah. again, it's like when you're reading the instructions and you're under the time pressure, um, it's. It's, it's hard to sort of uh, comprehend them. Do you know what I mean? And again, it's like when uh, like Joe's coming around talking to you and Patrick and Esme's coming around talking to you. You know what I mean? It's like, and then you've got to try and get it. You know, again, you're thinking about the time as well. Um, and again, trying to pat and match these things, you know, and it's... Uh, well, especially yeah. that lumberjack shirt, you had to yeah. pat and match... You know, with yeah. mine here, I've done the yoke differently. I think uh, Raf did his differently, but you, the, the pattern said you, they wanted you to actually match it, didn't they? So well yeah. done with that. And especially yeah. as you say, with, 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 how do you find that when they come around and start whittering in your ear? Do you not just want to say, look, I've got to sew. Look, there's not much time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get like that, especially if you saw, if, if you've got like an hour to go, and you know you can do it in an hour. It's not too bad. You don't mind giving up like right. five minutes. You know what I mean? But it's like when you've got an hour to go and it's like you you know it's going to take you two hours, then that's like, yeah, can you just go and talk to someone else? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Please please leave me alone. Because I was talking with me and Tim were talking about that last week. It's like being able to read an entire pattern. For me to start with, I wouldn't be able to read the whole pattern at the start at all. I'd be so overwhelmed to be like, no, yeah. I'm not touching that at all. Yeah, but like they recommend reading the whole thing from the start. I'm like you have to read it, talk to the people, get your material. I'm like, no, no, that's too much, too much. <laughs> they, they, you went through, and th this is going to sound really, really sore now. It might feel sore. You never got an actual garment of the week win, did you? Oh, stop oh. it! Stop <laughs> it! Sorry. <laughs> and but there was one week back to wool week. You produced a dress that I know all three of us just went wow, and we had a big argument about it. I don't know if you can remember tinging on you, but it was one of those mm -hmm. briefs where it was quite. Uh, it was, I think, was it to do a design? Oh, it wasn't it work? Dress, but they had to go party. to work and then go to a party. Yeah, yeah. it was a it was a festive uh, a festive festive dress. Yeah, yes. festive, festive, festive winter. That's right. Yeah. Um, so. So there, there was going to be many different attempts, but yours was, you said, well, it's a festive wood dress because it's come from a, a, a work do. That's it, yeah. And it was stunning, absolutely stunning. If I remember rightly, it was a light a grey, this lovely long dress. Um, well, with... I've actually got it here, so I'll show it, you know, I was like that. <laughs> no way. <laughs> come on, then. <laughs> We've got to look out for that lovely zip. Okay. Do you remember what the zip did? The zip was exactly the party feature. <laughs> there we go. So again, it, it looks a bit flat in the because it's not on a model. Um, but you know, yeah, there's the zip. It goes. See, oh. that was that was it. The zip yeah. that goes up. It goes <laughs> party in the front. I need, I need <laughs> party I need, in the front. I need three hands for this. Anyway, you know what a zip does? It goes up. So there yeah. you are. <laughs> it's that lining. Look, there's that yeah. lining as well oh, yeah. that you have a flash of when the zip's down. From the top. Yeah, there's oh. like the. The line that I put inside, and it just picked up the the detail of the check on it and everything. It's just beautiful. Stunning. Yeah, and like the I did the overlocking on the inside on it in the contrast thread as well to oh, sort we of give it. Yeah, just sort yeah, of make it look nice on the inside. We didn't again, see this that on like the show, a, did we? No, well that's it. You can't see everything. Um, Stunning. but again, it's like I just want to make it, it really nice on the inside because it's when it's open. Like if you wear it like that, it just gives yeah. it a real nice. Yeah, you know, that yeah. is one professional dress but when you get to that party that could be one sexy outfit oh yeah, <laughs> yeah like well, that's because you'd have the zip up to the waist nearly <laughs> you were wearing it so tell us tell us the idea behind that did you know when you got your brief yeah. uh did you know straight away that's what you're going to do or, or, or is there a funny story about how the, the double zip idea came about oh no well the thing is i just sort of well, say when i got my brief it was just looking at it and then just sort of trying to think right what 
what would be like sort of festive winter? I know I knew I wanted to go for like a thick material, like a wool type thing. Um, so, and then I was just looking at various different designs of dresses, and I thought, what would be sort of quite cool because I wanted it to sort of look officey, yeah. But at the same time as well, you could just sort of go out after work, like you know what I mean? Because uh, obviously, I wouldn't want anything too elaborate because you want me sitting in office, and then you know, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. uh, but um, yeah, so I just sort of looked at different patterns, and that one was, a, I think it was a birder. I can't remember the exact name, of the pattern, uh, the number of the pattern, but it was a birder one. Um, and it did call for like a double-ended zip. So I thought, I've never done a double-ended zip before. Uh, so I put one in. Again, with all these different reasons that I was trying to pick stuff that I've never done before. So I could sort of learn at the wow. same time. Oh my God. <laughs> that's a <laughs> See, that's where, that's where I freak out every week. Because it's like, don't do not do something you can't do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do Nobody's something like, you know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I knew I knew I'd be practicing at home, so I thought I'll iron out all ah. my faults. Yeah, and yeah. iron out all my faults, and then sort of you know I'd learn in the process. Brilliant. You know? I mean, well, still, that's still pretty risky because, like, you look at a lot of the other sewers, and they were doing what they knew they could yeah. do successfully. So, fair play, fair play. <laughs> it, yeah. it was stunning, and Patrick went wow. Everyone, it was edited wow. And yeah. when they were just about to say a garment of the week, everyone was looking at you. <laughs> the cameras was looking at you. And then Rafe, uh, Raf got it, didn't he? With the gold, like the, yeah. the, with the bow thing at the front. I mean, that, yeah, was, yeah. that was nice. But yeah. even, even Raf went to you and said, sorry, Dame. I know, because I, I did like a clap. I was like that. Well done, Ra. <laughs> but you know, again, it's. I mean, they were all great. They were all great dresses, yeah. like you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, but so it's, it's down to what I suppose, what what uh, Patrick and Esme sort of decide on the day, you know. Yeah. And again, I was. Uh, this was sort of quite cool. It's like that was the day. The day that I made that was the day of my fortieth birthday. Oh. Oh. Right on. Hello. So oh, it would have been. Would it would have been a nice gift, but obviously <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> oh well, you, 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 yeah. The way you responded, and and I think that everyone did a little giggle there. You were a good sport yeah. with that. But we, you know, from us, we gave you garment of the week. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. I think, I think if I remember as well, though, but because that was week two, wasn't it? And and I think the first week it kind of been edited as you were the kind of bumbling man sewer yeah and you were under threat in the first week and then you came back the second week and produced that and certainly for me that was then like no you, he might not read the pattern he might go off piece of it but he knows what he's doing yeah. and I think that got you taken a lot more seriously which then helped you get as far as you did but yeah we were absolutely gutted that you didn't get garment of the week that week yeah I mean I won't, I won't worry too much about it I won't lose sleep over it like you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know really? but um yeah, it was a uh, it was good sort of um, you know just learning learning loads of different stuff because again before I went on the show I'd never done like a setting sleeve, wow. you know um, yeah because it's like I thought right well obviously the gunner asked us to do that at some point um, but again it was like a fast track learning <laughs> process do you know what I mean yeah. again so what yeah. I did is I, I watched the previous series um, when I sort of knew I was going on I thought right. I've so watched I watched the previous series about 10 times and every single challenge they did I've written down every single technique that they did that I didn't know and oh, then wow. it's like I had, I had like a full A4 sheet of techniques that <laughs> I was rubbish on so I had to sort of write you know really sort of fast track myself in that way as well yeah well, just fast track but that was under serious pressure as well <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean it's like that's yeah. a bit intense <laughs> I know yeah well, great to watch. And now we've got series eight. So let's go into it then. Series eight, week two, sportswear week. We'll delve in and talk to everyone. We'll have your opinions too, Damien, and, and we'll go through uh, each round. So the pattern challenge, <laughs> a first for sewing B, <laughs> making some high top trainers. Well, first for sewing B, sewing. It's sewing oh, ting. Let's hope it's the last for sewing bee as well. <laughs> last time I checked, it was the sewing bee and not cobblers are us. Well, to be fair, it was sewing. sewing. There was not no dressmaking. No... It's not dressmaking bee, is it? You could argue that. Yeah. And there was a lot of sewing involved. There was a lot of having to do with materials and the pattern and even some hand sewing, obviously. 
So it's I, a hard I, challenge though. A pair, a pair in four hours. I mean, it's a sewing bee. It's not as if they throw in easy stuff for the crack of it, you know, all of the time. No, you but know, do you know what? I'm sorry, because this is, I'm going to have my rant now and then I'm not going to talk about it because this is the extent <laughs> of the notes I made on it. Nothing, right? Because, <laughs> because yes, it's sewing, but it's um, no one, no one is going to make their own trainers, okay? Even hand sewing it to those stupid rubber soles, you hand sewed it to the sole. You wouldn't be able to wear them once without them coming off. They have to be sewn on properly to that rubber sole if you're going to use them. It wasn't any skill you could take away and think, oh, I can transfer that if I want to make this, that or the other. It was nothing. It was a waste of time, waste of material, waste of absolute viewing time as well. I'm not commenting on it. It was useless. I'm co- going to completely contradict you because I know for a fact that people make their own shoes. I follow them on Instagram. I know for a fact Stuart just shared that those kits have sold out. People are using them. Yeah, and, and they're all going to be in the bin next week, it. aren't they? There's sewing, there's putting the material together. There's the hand sewing when it's done properly is actually good when you learn how to do it right. It stays. Just because you don't hand sew doesn't mean... Well, I hand sew. I just but there's not to people. No, but there's a lot of people who do like historic um, sewing and stuff. I follow them on YouTube and stuff and they do a lot of hand sewing and it stays and it's um, very good. So I, my only, my only issue with it was um, that I think some of the people who weren't strong enough to use all the equipment yeah. should have been given assistance because that obviously stopped them finishing the, the item. Um, but then again, I was thinking, well, that's actually something that if they had been told to make a corset or anything that where they had the eyes eyelets were needed or any other sort of there have been patterns in the past that have required eyelets in them i think it should have uh, some assistance should have been given for but lack of all, hand strength and but stuff. all 28 eyelets yes if it was only seven eyelets yeah but yeah. there was an awful lot of and and we know that the wrist yeah. and that clamping can be a hard thing to do yeah well at any time but well, as we yeah. get older it can be and yeah. i also felt that as well this wasn't something that you could then get up the next day and think I'm going to have a go at that because not only did you need to buy the rubber sole, which you, you're saying now you can't get anywhere because I suppose everyone's bought that, yeah. but you need to have the whole eyelet. Pe- that's not the piece of kit people generally have lying around. And it's not just a case of punching a hole in. You've then got to actually do it with the proper rivets, which I know you've tried to do. Um, and, you know, it's an absolute nightmare to do. And I just, I just felt that it, it wasn't very helpful. That's where it was more of an entertainment thing because we were – in, in essence, watching people fail because they couldn't get their eyelets in a row or they couldn't finish it off. And, yeah. and it just annoyed me. Yeah, but there was, uh, to be fair though, you could say that a lot about different types of sewing where you have people who use overlockers for finishing off garments and not everybody has an overlocker. At least you do have the option of the zigzag and stuff, but uh, yeah. Stop picking a fight. You're not going to win. <laughs> I, I, well, I, I personally quite enjoyed it. I just think some assistance where it should have been given for the the, the eyelets and stuff. It was certainly something different. Damien, yeah. what did you think? Well, I think uh, putting 20, uh, 28 eyelets into that, because, I mean, the fabric is not going to be, like, really thin. It's not going to be, like, one layer of cotton. I think, you mm-hmm. know, it's like some of the reviews is, like, tweed, and there was, like, some, I think, like, denim there as well. And, again, it's like I even struggled um, squeezing them tools. And, again, they have to be, I think, pretty much to do a really nice, neat job, you have to have a brand-new tool mm-hmm. or a sharp tool. I think they're probably the same tools that we have. You know what I mean? And it was like, it were bloody hard work squeezing them. And the thing is, it's like, um, again, it's like with, when I remember doing eyelets on my first dress that I did um, and I really struggled with them. That's why I ended up on the floor with a hammer. Oh, yes, you did the one like a, a corset yes. one. That's it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I were on the floor with a hammer because that they didn't work for me because my fabric was quite thick, actually. It was like a nylon type thing. Yeah. Um, and just sort of try and squeeze the hole in. Once you got the hole in, you're fine. But then again, you need a good hammer to whack these um, um, uh, the, the eyelets in. Yeah. But um, I've, I've seen, because sort of, I've been doing like helping out at Bolton University and that in the textiles department, they've got a fantastic tool which is mounted on a bench, like a, a, a lever that you Oh, lovely. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. I mean, so what you're saying is sewing bee should have got some of those decent tools to do the <laughs> it but, sounds but like even it. If, because especially because they should have had something like that to help the people well, who weren't strong uh, enough to that's use my it. only gripe i think that was yeah. a bit unfair on because I, I i felt really uncomfortable it was um uh, angela it was i think deborah was it or or jill certainly angela was really struggling and i i, I found that difficult to watch yeah. because yeah. she couldn't do anything she could have got, though saying that, we saw lots of bees helping out, didn't we? 
yeah. I'll yeah. Just... But, but it's, it's one of those, as you, you know, it's like the time pressure. You can't help everybody. You know, people have to also finish their own thing as well, yeah. you know? I mean, the only thing I, I, redeeming thing I can say about it is there was some very good um, colour matching, you know, because, you know, Damien's right, that was thick material. Some of them had used tweed, some of them using canvas, but they wanted it lined as well. Mm -hmm. So trying to put those eyelets through all of that was going to be a pain. But, you know, there were some good choices with the toe and the heel uh, detail and the contrast colours. In terms of their eye and their artistic bit, then yes, you know, you could see uh, their skills with, with colour and, and fabric choice. But mm -hmm. the task itself was just a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> and what, Don't hold back, Ting. Don't hold back. <laughs> it was also nice to see, this is episode two, the bees showing off that their personality was coming through with what they were wearing and and like Richie you could see some of his with his knits he was with his knitted top um Christian with his neckerchief as well that was really nice to see I love Brogan's t-shirt with a little bee there that was fantastic <laughs> <laughs> Um, and as you say, the techniques, some of them were doing beautiful top stitching. There was there was nice techniques coming through. Um, and, it, and they already started off with week one with a very high standard. Um, but wasn't it interesting to see who was going to come where on this round? Because it really sort of shook it up from, from week one. So we'll just go straight into the standings. We had uh, Angela um, 11th, Jill 10th because they did struggle to finish. Um, Chi Chi ninth, and then back at the top end, we had Manny first, Annie second, and Marnie third. Um, uh, what did you think of Manny's finished ones? Well, I wouldn't know. I was barefoot in the kitchen making a cup of tea because both slippers had gone to the telly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Right, it okay. Don't, it doesn't take much for it winding him up, does it? <laughs> no, it's quite fun to watch. Um, I, re I was really impressed with like the fussy details. So she did yeah. that fussy cutting around um, uh, the little image and stuff. I thought that was really clever. I really liked it. So there we are. That was the pattern challenge. <laughs> we'll, we'll swiftly move on then. For for we... Tay explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting to see um, how we come back to that. Right, transformation challenge. Damien, what are your thoughts about this round? Oh, this round for me, again, it's like, it's <laughs> it's a very stressful one because it's you've got 90 minutes and it's like, it's just like, make this out of this. And it's, oh my God, it's like, you just yeah. brain's going at 100 mile an hour. And, and again, it's like on the first one, uh, speaking from experience, the first one that I did was my t-shirt hideous, monstrous thing that I did. Um, <laughs> and it's like, but my sort of mindset for that was um, just go on, I'll learn on the job. Do you know what I mean? It's like, wow. um, I'll let everybody else get their sort of first, get the get the selection, and then I'll pick up the whatever's left, be it rags or whatever, and I'll make something fantastic out of it, and they'll be that worried by it that I'll just get garment of the week. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Again, <laughs> is it... But, I know, I know, I, I've always said we don't, when we have people from the show, we don't want to give away the secrets of the show because yeah, yeah. It, it can sometimes spoil that. But is it true? Do you really go and rush straight away? Is it like a free for all? Well, yeah, the soon as that the transformation challenge. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as they take the blue, um, the blue blanket off. Yeah. You know, you can, rush if, you can rush if you want to. I was, I was playing it casual and I thought, I'll lay back, let everybody go. <laughs> uh, but again, I think it's sort of, it's worthwhile to do a bit of rushing sometimes. Yeah. You know, it's like if you see um, some good colours going together, go yeah. and get it. But again, another thing is like when you're sort of doing these things, it's like just sort of, after I learned from the first one, just um, have a think of what you're going to make first. Just spend five minutes just thinking and then um, and then just sort of draw up a rough plan and then go in for it. Because uh, if you sort of just start rushing in and draping and stuff, it's just sort of, you know, you don't know where you're going to end up. Again, I did that sometimes and sometimes it works. So there's no yeah. hard and fast rule, I don't think. It's just sort of how it turns out on the day. And again, another thing is like there's 90 minutes and as soon as they say go, it's 90 minutes. Is it? Yeah. Not, not yeah, like 95. Before. <laughs> before before I went on, I was like, oh, this be all right. They'll sort of give you like two hours and they'll say it's 90 minutes. And when they said, you've got that, it was, oh my oh, God. Yeah. It's good but to know. Based on what you were saying there, that's what we were talking about last week is that 
you know, I, I would just be completely blind to the fact that it's seven hoodies stood there. But other people will obviously see, oh, that's a nice pink fabric or that's a nice pattern fabric. And they'll rush it, I suppose, and just go for the, the fabric rather yeah. than thinking, oh, my God, what am I going to do? It's a hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> How am I going to cut this up? Yeah. But I wonder, is it like... Um... No, there's a lot of sort of sayings around you know creativity is a muscle that you you sort of build on and you, it gets stronger the more you use it so whether it's a case of maybe if you make loads of patterns you can start to visualize okay I can take that chunk and that chunk yeah. and that one make a shirt or it'll make a swishy dress yeah. or whatever did you did you ever practice the transformation challenge before you went on no I didn't even think about it wow I didn't even think about it because I thought you know I can't really practice for yeah. it and I thought I don't want to because I thought I'll just let 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 you know let it play out like it's going to play out. So brave. Yeah. <laughs> but you had made lots of, you'd made lots of different types of clothes and stuff before, so that would have stood mm. to you as well. But at the end yeah. of the day, you know, how is he going to practice it? It's, it, it's 90 Well, I didn't know whether you'd go... anything, couldn't it? it could, I didn't know whether someone said, right, Damien, here is a hoodie. Uh, you've got to turn this into a going out club. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. I think but, it's good. I think it's good that they do have the time limit as well. Um, and I think ninety minutes is, you know, it's it's good because if you had like three hours, then you wouldn't have that drive. I suppose. No. Not and you'd done. use the three hours as well if you had. You'll use whatever time you've yes, got. Yes, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, you but know? I think you'd, I, as you say, I think you. It's a different part of the brain. You'd lose that. There's a certain creativity in in ninety minutes, isn't it? Where yeah. you kind of don't think and you just do. I think the longer the time you have, the more you perhaps sit and plan, maybe. Yeah. Don't know. Don't know. Well, let's talk about their one. So they had a netball kit, uh, specifically skirt, top, and some bibs, and they had to make a glamorous day wear garment. But they had to use the pleats from the skirt. Some of them did fantastically well, I have I to say. Some of them were just epic. Very good. Anyone stand out as you were watching, thinking, oh, that's I rude. really, I liked the, sorry, let me just butt in. You know, the pleats with the pleats, uh, yes. the top. Uh, De Deborah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sewing against the, the pleats. You mean the one yes. where she went one direction and then the other? Yeah. One? Yes, that one. Thank you. Well, you see, you don't know the right name for it either. Um, <laughs> But that one, I really loved that one. I was like, that'd be lovely with a nice pair of black jeans. You could wear that out. It'd be fabulous. I right, thought, I um, oh, again, I can't remember. I don't know all their names yet. I'm just having a, I think it was it, was it Deborah who actually did what looked like smocking, where she pinched the pleats together. That's what and I'm talking about. Oh, I thought yeah. you were talking about the red one that went the different ways. No, no, no. Oh. Deborah's is the blue one where the yes. pleats are going down. And she sewed in the opposite direction. Yeah, no, I like that yeah. one. I thought she was talking about the red one where the pleats went the other way. No. Oh, right. No, that one was also nice. <laughs> yeah, I like the, um, well, I like. I like quite a few of them actually because it's yeah. like you know the I think I like the colours like you know like, the the way they sort of mix in each they yeah. all sort of blended together but I, I did like I've written it down just to sort of a couple of notes yeah go um, for it yeah I like Chi Chi's red and black and the the colour combination yeah. of it that looked really smart and um and Angela did a really nice sort of uh, like a top. Yeah, yes, it kind of looked old school, like Victorian or something like that. Yeah. I thought that was good. Yeah. And again, it's like, you know, they all did fantastically well. Yeah. They they were similar, though. They were A lot of them were using yeah. the pleats on the, the diagonal, weren't they? Yeah. Well, you'd use it like most of them put it on for the arms because it gives you the, the width when, yes. you're, when you're moving your arms about. It makes sense to turn them into a sleeve because it's kind of all concertinaed away. Yeah. The, the brief was somewhat uh, annoying, I felt. They said a glamorous day wear garment. Were any of them glamorous? Well, yeah, I thought the, the smocking one was pretty... Well, well, it depends what you define as glamorous. She's not well, going to be covered in sparkles. Like, well, you know glamour, what I mean? that's what I think glamorous is, even. Yeah, you see, we have different kinds. I'm thinking the, like Audrey Hepburn, you know, nice, clean, chic well, yes. style. Oh, but you see, yeah. I'm going to take absolute umbrage with the winner. I wouldn't be like you, Ting, no. No, not at all. <laughs> because uh don't get me wrong brogan did a really good sewing thing but yeah. she's taken she used the bibs didn't she that had the goalkeeper goal attack and everything yeah. on it and she'd sewn them right onto the front and i'm like mm, yeah 
who's going to go out with like those four letters just emblazoned across their thumb? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? And that was just kind of like, yeah. I get that she might have done a good bit of sewing, but if you're going to then turn and say it's got to look glamorous, that wasn't glamorous mm, to me. But if you, you were um, a preppy girl going to a day wear sports event, then that was a glamorous outfit, you know, with with the punches and, you know... And a, mm, mm. What events do you go to? <laughs> Wimbledon, maybe? I'm thinking, or, uh, I'm thinking independent school, Jack Wills type. If she turned um, up in something like that at an independent school, they'd well, rip the hell out of her. Speaking about independent school, anyone watching Elite on Netflix? Stop it. Oh. <laughs> You're behind with that. That's been around for years. Well, that's that's the prep school I'm thinking of. If you need to know, go and look at Elite on Netflix. So then you'll think that's a glamorous day wear outfit. They wouldn't be seen dead in those outfits. <laughs> um, what about Richie going into his um, uh, collops, <laughs> into his britches? What did he do? What, <laughs> what did he do with that he flap looked, on the front? I know, it looked like underwear, actually. You know, like old un- Victorian-style underwear? Like, yes. <laughs> I think he slipped <laughs> too far down the rabbit hole of his period costume making that he clearly does and decided that he was going from culottes to ladies' undergarment that had a big old flap ready for the Victorian sewers. <laughs> I couldn't, I, I think I would just freeze, brain freeze. I'd still be there 20 minutes in looking at those bibs going, what on earth, what on earth? It's a different, sure, it's a different men, as you were talking about. You turn them into a bib, that's what you do. It's a different <laughs> part of the brain that you have to use for that sort of thing. Did you ever panic, Damien, and, and look at everyone else and go, oh my God, what are they doing? And then, and then you get more and more nervous. Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't panic as such. It was just sort of, I thought, right, I'll get on with mine. I thought I'm not bothered, but when what <laughs> when you look up halfway through and you see what other people's doing, you're like, oh, well, yeah. mine's a bit rubbish, you know. <laughs> and just when you think you're doing it, this is great, like you're so in it, it's like, oh, this is gonna win. Yeah. And then you look up and for a moment, and then you've got you see Raph over there, and he's got some elaborate thing going on, and like <laughs> Adam, you know, and it's like <laughs> you've got some fantastic stuff going on. And then it's like, oh, well, you know, I'll just carry on. <laughs> yeah. Hard. There must come a point, though, when you're committed and just go, well, I've got to go with it now. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> so for that round, we had uh, Annie 11th and Richie with his britches 10th. And then at the top end, Brogan with that, which I have to say I thought was lovely. To carry those pleats going through, I thought he... Uh, was yeah, it, that was, was lovely. The top was great. Yeah. I just didn't like the skirt thing. I think that was not right. Brogan was first, Deborah second, um, yeah. and Marnie again third. Marnie is consistently for episode one, week one, week two, been in the top three. But nice to see some someone different with Brogan and Deborah there. Deborah yeah. coming through um, with that. That little blue number, it was just a little top, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was yeah, just... But it only clean. needed to be one garment. It didn't yeah. have to be a whole outfit. No, no. It's beautifully done. Very yeah, like, you, like you say, Annie, you'd wear that with a nice pair of uh, jeans or whatever, you know. Yeah. yeah. It'd be lovely and glam. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm just right, pretending so. to be glam here in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going into the made to measure at week two, we still haven't had, because there are a lot of sewers, so we're not having that, that what we used to call the Joe kiss of death when they had that conf lab with, so who do you think's safe and who do you think is... is we that, was a, that, that was a very frightening pattern we picked up on, wasn't it? Was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoever Joe mentioned was like, oh, are they going to be, they're going to be the ones to go. So we haven't had that yet. Um, uh, so we've now got a mixture of people but were you thinking who's not safe at this point knowing that um in the first round Chi Chi was ninth Jill was 10th Angela 11th and then new names for this one Richie 10th and uh, Annie 11th no one to me stood out as being potentially one to go it was there for you it wasn't as obvious as last week I don't I, I think last week they'd they'd edited those two guys quite heavily as not knowing what they were doing and doing really badly and it was kind of like oh okay but also it was the first week we didn't know who anyone was and you're led by 
the fact that we got to see their full backstory film as well. But this one, uh, I think, yeah, by this point, it was a little bit harder to go, oh, hang on, I'm not quite sure where we're going to go with yeah. this. Yeah, so Ting hadn't predicted it from the first two minutes. So, no, yeah. no we had no text, no text. Damien, did you have a, any hunch you thought, oh, there, there perhaps might be one to watch out for, for being, you know, having to pull it out of the bag for made to measure? Yeah. Well, um, again, it's like, I sort of see the whole thing as like the Grand National, do you know what I mean? It's like, you don't know, any, you know, it's like you could be doing your garment, like you could be out, like say you've got five hours, you could be making it and you could do fantastically well for the first four and a half hours. And that last half an hour, <laughs> it can just go all out the window. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So again, it's like, again, you, you don't, you can't sort of predict really. You can have a rough idea, but it's like, you know, it can get blown out of the water yeah. at any time. Yeah, because well, Steve and his overlocker yeah, yeah. mistake was like, oh shit. But the yeah. thing was, is you didn't know how big a mistake he'd made with that um, when he did it. And I was worried that he'd perhaps gone all the way up the back and, and <laughs> cut it in half. And well, so and luckily it was only a small, small cap. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. move on to that then. So the made to measure five hours, and I'm getting ready for the slipper here, Ting, uh, to make a jacket. And it's, yes, you know, it's an inspired by round, inspired by a sporting hero. We know your feelings, Ting, about the inspired briefs. What did you think of this one, Ting? I, I loved it. Right, okay. <laughs> what did you well, think? No, of because, because well, normally it's just left too vague. So in the past where we've had like inspired by, Frida, it could literally Carla, be yeah. anything. Yeah. Whereas this was inspired by a person. So when you were then looking at those sports tops, you were expecting to see the sport or the personality of the person who was a sports person. So it was much more locked down than it has been in the past. And so some of them chose to reflect the actual sport, like we saw with the tennis ball and the diving board. Others chose to reflect the personality of the person that we saw with the Nic Nicola Adams bomber jacket and the Flojo lace and one arm and everything based on what that... So actually, for once, um, I felt that it was okay. Anya, what did you think of the brief? I thought what it was you? fine, but I'm generally not as controversial as Ting, so I'm kind of a bit... I'm in shock here at the minute, so I might go quiet for a second. I know. So I recover from Ting being okay with an inspired by. <laughs> so, yeah, I was I was happy enough with it, to be honest. Damien, do you, do, when you have the inspiration um, briefs, is that a, a moment for you to be able to go off on one or do you find them quite difficult? What do you think of the brief? Well, I always, when I got mine, it's um, I just sort of sat there and just sort of processed it first, like mentally, it's like, okay, I've got to go for this, um, like if it was sport, and then, because I don't really do sports, so I'll follow sports, you know what I mean? So it would probably be, be a dif bit difficult, but what I'd do is just sort of, um, just mull it over for a couple of hours, you know, yeah. and then, right, okay, then start looking through patterns and then you sort of think what I want to sort of achieve. And then once I got a pattern, then I would think, right, materials-wise, and then just sort of work from there. Uh, and then, again, with all these patterns, you can you know, always, like, do the, the variations, like A, B, C, Ds, you know, when you get the different... Um, yeah, variations. Uh, yeah, so, again, it's just sort of thinking, just finalising it in your mind and then, Obviously, going yeah. out, getting the stuff, and practicing it. Then, well, it it's it was I, I was excited by it. I'm a bit of a sporty fan, so I was looking forward to seeing these. But within ten minutes of this brief, the 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 standard that was coming out yeah. was just was it blowing you away? Because it was blowing me away. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. <gasps> There's some, there was some, I actually, for the first time from watching So B, I went and ordered a pattern after seeing the final challenge. I was like, I need that jacket. I actually, I've got a bomber jacket I ordered. Yeah. Um, I've ordered that in. And I also wanted the one Marnie did, but it was already sold out because wow. it was just so very good. But oh, yeah. And did you, did you go to um, Kate from the fold line? Because she yes. always does the episode where she finds. That's exactly where I went. I was like, I need to find that. So that's where we went. Because even my husband seen Marnie's one. He's like, can I have one of those please? I was like, well, let me find the pattern. <laughs> well, it, it was a phenomenal challenge. So we were going through seeing some wonderful makes um, and I, I, you just can't fault, well, any of them. I thought they were just stunning. So, so well, just tell me what one stood out for you as being really well, think, impressed with. I think one of the things that impressed me, and we've got four or five here, because mm. I, I did make much more notes on this one. <laughs> 
Um, well done. But um, the amount of piecework that was going on, um, it would have been very easy to just get a flat bit of fabric and sew it into a top. Yeah. But, you know, we had, um, Man Yi did the piecing, um, Marnie had piecing, um, Chi Chi tried to do piecing. Um, there was the piping on there. So it wasn't just, you know, right. flat fabric sewn together with a zip and a cuff. They'd actually probably taken a basic pattern and then decided, well, within this section, I'm going to cut up and have some sort of different colours. And yeah. yeah. And and so the number of people that were doing that, that was phenomenal in itself because those patterns had to match up. Yeah. And they were done really well. There was, I think there was only maybe one or two that whenever you like the join between the arm and the main body. That was Annie's was tennis one. I, I liked the concept of that and I love the colours, the the kind of pale pink yeah. and the dark yeah. green. Yeah. And I thought she'd done really well until they got her to put her arms up. And it clearly hadn't matched at all. <laughs> it's very minor out though. It's, you know, yeah. I think it adds, it adds to the contrast when it's like that as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. A well, clever like, concept with the idea of the beautiful. tennis ball reflecting yeah. those curves. Because let's be honest, curves when you're sewing are hard, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I just, I, that's my biggest bugbear is doing like round the neck and all that. I'm just, yeah. I suck at that part. Absolutely. It's one for me, one of the hardest things to do. <laughs> yeah. it, it, for my little brain, it doesn't compute sewing curves because you've got, you've got a mountain against a valley, haven't you, when you're sewing curves? <laughs> And yeah. it's like, I can't fit these, they, they don't fit nice, like two flat seams. How can you do that? So it's yeah, any of them doing curves. And then, of course, Man Yi and her patchwork, um, she's doing Y seams, didn't yeah. she? You know, yeah. that's impressive. I really, I, hers was one of my favourites. I loved hers, I loved Brogan's, and I loved uh, Marnie's and Jill's. <laughs> yeah. Brogan's was lovely. She also had that, um, it, there wasn't as much... But it was just beautiful. When done. I saw Brogan's at the end on that catwalk, my mouth literally went, oh, yeah. I want that. It was yeah. just stunning, wasn't it? Yeah, it was stunning. It was one of my favourites. So I had a few favourites. I think, sadly, the only one that sort of stood out for the wrong reasons was Richie's because it just didn't quite fit. I felt so bad for him because whenever, um, what you call her, tried it on, she was like, so this fits me lovely. And that's, uh, really and I mean, uh, Damien might have to step in here, but... They had models. Everyone yeah. else measured them. I mean, his it didn't fit his model. How did he get that so wrong with the with the measurements? I mean, I'm know. presuming you have enough time because, again, not wanting to give too much away, but you you go in there with your pattern and you've got the paper pattern, which you're then supposed to do the final fit to that model. I just couldn't understand how he he measured that that guy to start off with. And then when he turned up for a fitting, it was so wrong size. I, I, I just, I don't understand that kind of fitting process. Yeah, I mean, it's difficult because you do get the model's measurements in advance. So you can right. sort of, when you're buying the pattern, then, because otherwise, if you, oh, did, yeah, yeah. if you didn't have a rough idea, and then when you get there, obviously, then you'd measure them again. It may be that the guy um, actually went to the gym a lot in, in between yeah, in between uh, uh, being given the measurements yeah. and actually filming. So we'll never know. Yeah, completely agree. And as me in this newly finished top... Oh, really? Fantastic, Stuart. Fantastic. I, this is my second one. That was the hem. I, that's <laughs> naughty. <laughs> it's a bit out. I haven't finished it yet. Anyway, it's only your second. Trip. It's my second attempt. Uh, the first one I made in the four weeks of making it, it got a bit tight on the arms because I'd been at the gym and I'd put on some size. So I completely feel for Richie. That is clearly what happened. Oh, that's what you're going to do. Stuart. So this second one I've made, I I had my pattern piece and I I literally put a centimetre extra all, all the way around the seam allowance. And now I've got, I, it's really free. I can reach up without splitting it underneath. <laughs> yeah, but that's my point, because even if the guy had grown, you know, he was still there on the day. He should have looked yeah. at it and gone, oh, he's a bit bigger than what I thought. It, because when, when that went on at the very end, it was, it was skin tight. I thought they were going to have to bring the talcum powder out to help get it on. <laughs> But we don't know what happened. Maybe he didn't write down the note. So, like, there's a lot of pressure. Maybe he didn't write down the note right or didn't check it. Or maybe his seam allowance was, he 
too much or oh, yeah. stop it it's think, so diplomatic about it again if you if you have to sort of alter it all on the day that's like a massive amount of yeah. work you know what yeah. i mean yeah. it's like again i was fortunate really because my models were me measurements were pretty much they were slightly out but they were out in the right places um so i for me i just sort of made it assembled it to the size that i made and just cross my fingers it's like please fit please fit please fit <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the universe works, so when you're in that mood and you yeah. have that attitude, the universe just goes, yeah, I'll keep you right, I'll keep you right. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, I mean, as the, 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 the challenge was going on, the techniques that they were using were just, were, were amazing. And yeah. I think we were texting each other going, this is week two? Yeah. And they all were coming across as really talented and still as a good group as well, but... Yeah. Week two and those standards. Yeah, I do think though, as it progressed, it became slightly more obvious um, as they started to comment on what people were doing. You know, it's like, oh, she's you're trying to do the thing and it's maybe not quite working and, you know, who was going to be leaving? Yeah, the, the, I thought the standards were absolutely fantastic. Because if you look at every single um, photograph of the finished garments, yeah. it's like, the, the neatness, and, and again, it's like with Richie's, um, although it was slightly a bit small, but if you look at the finish on it... Yeah, the finish like, is fine. Yeah, it's just fantastic. You know, yeah. again, knitted, his own oh, knitted yeah. cuffs and ribbing, you know what I mean? Brilliant. Amazing. Yeah. And you, and you know when they're nitpicking, I think, a Christian's, and that lovely blue, that, that sort of, he had the bottom blue, very yeah. modern looking, uh, yeah. like a, a tracker. Um, and they were nitpicking that on the inside of the zip, there was just a little bit of nesting, which yeah. often happens from the machine. It's, 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 you but, know, you know we've said that before. It's like, if you were making this at home, you would stop and unpick it and redo it. But you've yeah. been told you've got five hours and it's got to be yeah. on the model. <laughs> well, yeah, really well, when it's on the inside, no one's going to look at that nesting. I don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> I really like Steve's as well, like the shell suity type one. It just, yeah. you know... Yeah, yes. that, really, and again, if you look at like the white sort of lapel, well, not lapels, but you know, at the front of it, you could yeah, see through contrast. the pattern underneath, and I thought yeah. oh, that was really cool, you know. Yeah, yeah, I like that as well. It was like it was just a nice sort of hint of a contrast with the. Yeah, it was lovely. Really, again, they this this bunch of sewers, they've got a good eye for color yeah. and design. Yeah, yeah. And that, you can then turn what is quite a very boring pattern into something really good if you've got the right colors. Yeah. yeah. But I think that's what it made for poor Chi Chi. Are we saying that yet? Yes, uh, yes, we are. Yeah, sadly, it, um, because well, the in this round she went and um, w and then that was obviously the the because I went back when they finally said Chi Chi's going home. I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, she, yeah. she didn't come tenth or eleventh in round two. Oh, and she was ninth out of eleven on round one, and it suddenly. But yeah, but we've that's, always but said about the waiting. The, about the piece, piecing, like Esme was talking about her piecing being slightly... Well, because she, she didn't piece, did she? Um, the no, other piece, she had and, that. That, and she put it on top. Yeah. And to be fair, we didn't really see that process, which is why I think it came as a bit of a shock. But then when they turned around and said, well, when she did the catwalk and they then did the close-up, you did kind of look at it and go, oh, yeah, that doesn't quite look right. But we yeah. hadn't really seen any of that until that point um but she yeah. she attached it over the top she she kind of embroidered it onto the top rather well, she than... did the applique yeah yeah okay, all the patches. Patches. Sorry. yeah, yeah well, so the is hard because... so she she did actually say herself she, when she, she was doing it she was like it's not quite perfect but it'll have to do it was one of those where i think she just got i find applique unless you get a really good close blanket stitch it can often look textile artifact can't yeah. it applique and I think that's that was the issue, wasn't it? Um, it's hard, applique. It's hard. And I didn't realise because she didn't put on the second sleeve that it just threw out the whole um, back panel and everything. Balance left. of it. Went yeah. Do you think? Because yeah. you were talking about the concept, Damien, weren't you? You you have a think and you 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 have a mull over. Do you think, um, Damien, her concept might have then been the the, the key to that not working? I don't know. I mean, it's like um, I, I really like the idea of like the the lace sleeve, mm. like you know. And it was um, yeah, just yeah. I thought it was really cool, but again, it's I, I don't know. I would sort of go on if someone said to me, you know, you've got a sports, I, I won't have a bloody clue. 
It'd probably take me more than a couple of hours to think about that one. I think the problem with what she tried to do is she was she was using the inspiration of the whole Flojo thing, who who had running. Um, she did it with like her running leggings or whatever you want to call them, because there was only one leg to them. Um, but it, when you kind of take the leg out of that, or if it had been a complete like fitted top and you'd taken the leg out, the body of the person would have kept the shape. The trouble was they were being asked to make a jacket. And of course, a jacket is baggier. So by only having one arm on the jacket, it inherently oh. just pulled everything that way. Yeah. Where the other arm wasn't there to kind of keep the material down, so the concept was good, and there's a reason why Flojo could get away with it because they were skin tight leggings or a skin tight top, and and her body held the shape. But the minute you tried to do it in a in a jacket form, it just naturally slipped that way because there wasn't any weight on the other arm to, yeah. to kind of keep it straight. And uh, you know, I love the concept, and I've written actually down the idea was really good. It was just the execution, mm. and and yeah. so you needed something probably in the back probably needed a bit more interfacing or a thicker interfacing to kind of keep the structure, to stop it being pulled over by the sleeve that was still there. Yeah. You're probably sewing like a little bit of lead on yeah. this one side, <laughs> just to just it up a bit. <laughs> oh, and speaking of lead, this is where your 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 brain works. What about those, br those brilliant magnets you put in in that kid's one to keep the hood on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you well, never redid that. Yeah, Patrick, you could take the hood off. You could put. You, I think you said you could rip it off. You could rip it off. off. Yeah, <laughs> see, look, that's your. Who's not a fan of rippable clothing? <laughs> <laughs> your thinking. So uh, yeah, I love Brogans. Um, what was your favourite? Did you say Anya? Uh, I liked Chi Chi's. Mar no, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, Man Manny um, Brogan and Marnie. Marnie's was my favourite and um, Jill's as well, the bombers, because I've got the pattern for the bomber jacket and I eventually will get Marnie's whenever it comes back in stock. Ting, what was your favourite, did you say? I've written, loved it, next to Christian's and Jill's. Um, and I did like Annie's tennis one. I was just then felt for when it didn't match up, but I love the colours on that one. Yeah. Okay. Damien, what was yours? Yeah. Um, well, I don't have a particular, you know, an exact one, but it's like I really like the, I really like Steve's again you know, with that, you know, the the, oh, yeah. the color of it, like the shell suit. And again, it's like I really like Manny's as well. The actual, again, because it weren't, uh, if you look at the actual, um, the shape of it, it weren't, they weren't symmetrical patterns oh. on either side. No. It was like sort of curved, and then some was straight. And again, if you look at the shoulder lines. Uh, they're like when um, you can see on the, the TV when Patrick was behind, he just holds the shoulder lines and it's like they're just perfect on yeah. the again. Yeah. It's, and again, Brogan stitching on that. Oh, it's just, oh I, I, I loved I loved Man Yee's piecing, like you say, it was the completely yeah. asymmetrical bits. Yeah, the only thing that made me think made me kind of go mm, is I, I thought it was too pastel. Um, when you see those climbing walls, because it was inspired by that climbing one. They're, they're normally quite bright, oh. vivid colours. Well, yeah. no, but but, but, but that. it was based on the person, not the climbing oh, No, I know. It was, it, like, was... I follow, she's one of the people I actually love because I was like, oh, Baudrin, I love a bit of Baudrin. Because like, she's actually a fantastic and she's such a lovely person as well, her particular person. So I was like, that was actually perfect for her. Just so we, we sadly <laughs> had to say goodbye to Chi Chi. Um, how, how did you feel when that was announced? Did you go, oh, right, yes, that was right? Or did you, like me, go, oh, I wasn't expecting that? I think by the time it was announced, it was kind of like, oh, yeah, no, I can, I can see that. Yeah, same. You, know, you never want anyone to go. It's like right. when, when, you, when you're on there, it's like, oh, you know, you're glad you, you're glad you stay in, you yeah. know? <laughs> Well, that's if you feel as though you've got the stamina to to continue. Because yeah. again, it's bloody hard work, um, you know. So again, it's sad to see somebody go, but then you're also relieved that you're staying. Mm. And again, when you do go, you're quite relieved as well. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Especially when you're getting that close to the final. I, I imagine it's getting harder and harder each week. <laughs> oh yeah, and so you get up in the morning, and it's like I have to do this again. You know, <laughs> yeah. what did you from me? <laughs> they didn't put you off sewing for a while after you came out of it. Oh yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm not. <laughs> I've not done a load since. You know, in fact, what I do now, I don't make things from scratch anymore. Or it's very rare if I do. I just buy second hand and just alter them. Brilliant. Yeah. Well done. You know. Brilliant. 
So under the garment of the week, we were all thinking, what? I was going for, it's got to be broken. What were you thinking, everyone? Garment of the week. Who well, were you thinking? I thought it might have been Marnie. But... I, I, I wasn't thinking um, it was going to be Marnie's. No? Oh, so so who did you was. think it was? I, I didn't know who it was going to be, oh. but I was slightly surprised that it was hers. Yeah. And I... controversially, I've written down that I liked the concept and I liked the colours and everything that she'd done. But, and, and I, especially because I went back and before, you know, we record this, I always just have a quick look on the Facebook page to just read on it. And I was looking at it again as a still photo and I didn't think it fit. The, the, oh. the sleeves look a bit too long and it looked a bit too baggy. And I felt that on the night and then just looking at the picture over the last couple of days and, and I, I looked at it again and I was like, it just, it, you know, if we're going to go after poor Ricky for being too tight, this one just felt that it looked a little bit too big. Was it like last and season it was when they had to do the utility jacket? Was it yeah, just... And, too... and, you know, I, I don't have a problem with her design, the colour or anything, and it wasn't sewn badly, but for it to then be garment of the week, it was just kind of those like, oh, well, yeah. I thought Christian's fitted better. I thought Angela's yeah. fitted better. I thought Man Yee's fitted better. Um, but that was the style of their jackets. If you look at the style of Marnie's, when you look at the pattern, that's the way. And like you talk about length, it's like my sleeves, I'm lifting my arm. My sleeves will normally sit about here if I can get them. That's the length I wear them, especially jackets, because you want it over your hand. Yeah. You don't want it too short so your clothes get well, wet. But that's why I'm saying controversially. I just was surprised that that was garment of the week, especially with Manny's piecing that she'd done. Uh, and that's like that that's why I asked, because... I think many people will have got a different garment of the week. Mm -hmm. Damien, who did you think maybe should get garment of the week? Or did you think it was right uh, that Marnie got it? Well, again, like for me, it's like, you know, it's like the pick for picking one, it's it's really difficult. It's, yeah. You know, the judges have got like, you know, quite a job to do. Um to try and again, I suppose they may just sort of go over the other other garments as well. You know, like the first two challenges and then, you know, deliberate over that. Um, but the actual I, I quite like, I like the gussets, you know, when the, you know, the ideas of that, because again, yeah. the amount of time that that must have taken, you know, to do that on the, as well as, you know, the, the neck one as, and a hood as well, you know, um, yeah, it's like, it's quite difficult, really. It, yeah. It, you can understand why it got it, I think, because of the, those, are the, the, the amount of techniques involved anyway, doing a gusset, all those yeah. pockets. Yeah. 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 Um, but I think it's just because I like brogans because I'd like to wear it. So that's why I wanted it to be him. Yeah, nice, Stuart. She might give it you when she gets it back. <laughs> I love that. I would love it. I thought um, wouldn't fit him. He's been going to the gym. Did you not hear him? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So we said goodbye to Chi Chi and then Gum of the Week was Marnie. And as I said, now we've uh, week two, Marnie's been up in the top several times now um uh we're starting to see you know well th th there was so much talent in that last round but we are starting to see people coming out yeah, it's only been two weeks it's been two weeks since she's been at the top and like damien said you can have a bad week yeah. um you know and and that have a bad it. hour well, it was a bad hour. That's it. Yeah. Bad can you remember? Minutes. Can you remember Adam from last series? We loved him as well, and then he had that that I think it was that kids week, wasn't it? With the, the yeah. yellow jacket, isn't that the one he went out on? He yeah. just had a bad. He had bad. a bad. Week. Yeah, he had. He said a bad week. I think there was National Morning on that day. Yeah. <laughs> there was here with us. I think. Yeah. <laughs> we loved that 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 one. Yeah, that was a, that was a clever idea, and I think he just it just didn't. Yeah, as you say, it could just not go. I think, that's it. You, know, just, you know, everything's going swimmingly well. Yeah. You know, and then all of a sudden, carpet gets pulled from underneath you. Okay, not not forgiving the overlocker incident, but after last week where Steve had such a bad start to the show, he actually, apart from that one overlocker thing. Uh, the garment, as we've already said, the fabric choice was good. The way he did the panelling was good. The finish on his jacket was good. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, it shows that, you know, he had a bad start, but then he pulled it out of the bag this week. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Chi Chi was good last week. It, it was just, you know, that... And like we said, until we saw that applique, we had no idea who was potentially yeah. going. And that was the one thing that possibly tipped her over yeah. um, the edge. Yeah. What, I find, what I find amazing... 
is that, you know, the people who've sewn for a, a short amount of time, like Steve, he's not been sewing that long, yeah. you know, and I think yeah. uh, Jill's not been sewing that long. And it's like to actually do that and then go straight on it. And it's like, and to keep up with the, you know, keep yeah. up with the people who've been mm. sewing a long time, it's, you know, it's a, a yeah. fantastic achievement. I was going to say, you hadn't been sewing particularly long either. We were just saying that before you went on. Yeah, mine was, uh, I think, three years I'd been doing it. Do you know what I mean? And I think, yeah, I think Steve's even less. Yeah. I think he was a pandemic sewer, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. So. Well, and, and when you say, look at that round, week two, made to measure, seeing so many stunning makes. Yeah. And not too many ones that are, are, are panicking. Sometimes we get three or four. It, it's it, it bodes well for the rest of the series. So, Ting, let's go to you. Slipper rating then for week two sports week. What's the slipper rating? So, I think it managed to get up to a four, I think. Um, <laughs> wow. Purely because of the shoes. At the Out start. of five? Not, not a five, no. Because I liked the last challenge. I did yeah, like okay. the last one. No, that's, that's, four that's impressive. Five. Four, four out of five, five. yeah. <laughs> As I said, I was barefoot making a cup of tea because the slippers were all gone. <laughs> and how, does, how, does, how, does, how does the slipper rating system work now? I forget. Is it's, it the simply, most... it's simply how angry I am. Yeah. Is yeah. it? So you know the thing he hates about the judges where it's down to personal preference and stuff? That's the system he applies to yeah. his slipper rating. It's, 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 the, <laughs> it's the judges. Because when we realised that actually quite a lot of people watch this, I realised I can't actually do loads of character assassination of the sewers. So <laughs> I generally try to be supportive of the sewers and go after the judges instead because they, they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, the we, we know better here. <laughs> criteria is all over the shop. Yeah, he just makes it up. <laughs> Before we finish then, ones to, your favourite or ones to watch out for? Come on, Damien, who's your ones to watch out for? Oh, my God. I couldn't possibly say, and I wouldn't <laughs> like to get into this, so I'll let you guys Okay, <laughs> Ting, what you? who would you say ones to watch out for? Well, I'm still keeping my eye on uh, Christian, and I think Annie uh, was doing quite well uh, yeah. there as well. I mean, I know we've said about Marnie and Manny and that, I think they're possibly going to be runners and riders, but it would be nice if, you know, maybe, uh, you know, that Christian or Annie, um, you know, started to, to eat their way forward as well. Okay. Yeah. Anya? Honestly, I quite like Jill's style so far. I quite enjoy her yeah. stuff. I obviously, I actually quite like Manny's as well. She did really, some really fun stuff. Um, there's too many at the minute. Yeah, there's still too many. <laughs> <laughs> Marnie, obviously. Well, I would say definitely Jill, um, I a uh, Christian one to watch out for, and I've still got my own Deborah. Mm. Deborah, which one? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Deborah's one that did the Welsh. Sweet and it's like I'm still getting familiar with everybody. The rugby jacket, yeah. or oh, they, they, yeah. they, they've, they've had, all had such a pronounced effect on me. I'm loving them all. Yeah. I, I want to so, see more. I, did you see the little Welsh flag that she put on the it's side good. as well? Exquisite. Brilliant. Yeah. I was going to say with that one, it was slightly controversial in our house because Simon was like, "That looks more like an England top than a Welsh one. Surely a Welsh one should be more red." Because we're both <laughs> rugby fans, it's like Welsh top should be much more red than that. I mean, because the England ones are obviously. White. <laughs> and oh, but when you unzip it, the red's all underneath yeah. in the top. Obviously. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Deborah. Oh, and I still quite like Angela too. So. Uh, so so half of them. I so, know. Because their base is covered. It, <laughs> it's going to be an epic season. There is so so much talent there. It's brilliant makes. David, it's been wonderful having you with us yeah, and, you. and hearing your insights and and opinions and and remembering back to what was a, a great oh, season. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me on. I've really enjoyed it. Again, this is sort of weird. It's like uh, weird for me watching you guys because you're a big a big part of my experience. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's a bit weird interacting. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'd like to say as well, while I'm here, uh, well done to the sewers who's actually gone home and also good luck to the ones, you know, still in the process and uh, hope they have a great time. Yeah. Here he uh, agree with that. Yeah. We love everything about the Sewing Bee. It's great. Yeah. It's great. We're on mainstream telly talking about this craft in such detail. We don't often get that chance, do we? No, no. no. So absolutely. Absolutely wonderful. Hope you enjoyed it, everyone. Let us know in your comments. Give us some great comments about the makes that you saw from this round, made to measure, who's your favourite. And if you can remember Damien's makes from last year, tell us what you like from his makes last year, especially that wool winter. What was it we called it? The, the, the going out. The, the festive office. winter dress. 
festive winter dress. <laughs> Indeed, with that double zip. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you uh, next week for week three, which is, oh, I don't know what week three is. It is. holidays, because they were making things out of hammocks. Holiday. <laughs> There's a slipper throwing theme if I ever found one. <laughs> See you all next week, everyone. Cheery bye. Bye. bye.